All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So today, quick update on the Z Flip 3. This device has been just the ultimate, I would say, uh, when it comes to having uh, owned a lot of Samsung devices, uh, like the, the Galaxy Note 20, the, S the bar style phones. I think this is Samsung's answer to themselves. If anyone's been out there on the fence about whether or not they want to grab a Samsung device um, and you're just unsure, this is probably going to be still the recommendation that I give you so you can get on board with what I consider is the direction that Samsung is definitely heading in. Uh, and they're, they're heading there pretty fast. We're on our third generation of the Z Flip uh, and this is the Z Flip 3. I do have a skin on from SophieGuard, so check out SophieGuard.com to grab your skin. But ultimately, folks, this is what I would consider the future of Samsung's devices. They're going to be bar style phones. They're going to be phones out there that are, uh, we can't just eliminate the slab style phone. It just doesn't work like that. Uh, but what we can do, and I say we, because I'm a creator, use, I can use my voice to help get you over the hump. Now, I made a video about this device, uh, and, I, and I, I think I titled that, you know, reasons to buy this over the Z Fold 3. If I'm being honest here, I think a lot of people who got that video, who, who, who clicked on it, they read the title and they commented, and they didn't fully understand, or they didn't pay attention to who I was talking to in that video, because I think I clearly stated it, but that video is for people who are trying to transition into a foldable device. And I feel like this is what Samsung is doing. This is a great device for what it is offering as far as like future and, you know, the things that are going to make it become what it's going to become. This is another step in that. Again, this is the third iteration of that. And I've had this for going on three weeks now and I am totally happy with it. I, I literally have just, and I'm not going to call it a complaint. Um, really, I have a request, uh, and that is that Samsung updates this front display to make it even bigger because I recently picked up the Moto Razr 5G from last year. It's the 2020 version. It's $499 on T-Mobile. That is a fantastic purchase for people who want to get into the folding device and you don't want to spend $1,000. I can still recommend it. While it has a lot of shortcomings, in my, my opinion, and it for sure does not match the Z Flip 3, but... That still doesn't mean it's a bad device because those are just my opinions. You might get the Razer and think it's awesome, which it technically is. So my request for Samsung will be to just make this bigger. That is what you have to do. Uh, you're going to have to move these cameras or somehow or, uh, you know, even if you leave them there, just make this bigger or put the display over here and give us more cameras here. I don't know, but to me, and I'm not saying the cameras are bad at all. The cameras are fantastic, but the cover display with it not being able to really do anything, um, you have to use Bixby Voice if you want to use this display, if you want to reply to things or make it do things. Um, you can activate the camera, you can do videos, you can do photos, you can take full advantage of the cover display. If, you, if you're recording a video uh, and you want the other person to see what you're looking at, um, you just go to the top here and you hit that button right there and then the cover display is now on. So there is a whole bunch to like about the cover display, but for functionality, for quick replies and simple things like that doesn't exist. Uh, and, and that is the only upgrade I think I would say at this point that is mandatory. Now, something else that people complained about, I would say, or not complained, had concerns about, is probably the battery. The battery life on this thing, to me, is fantastic. I put out a video doing that one simple tweak was to go into my Google services and turn off things that are just not needing to sync to my device, period. It's a simple thing to do. It's not a hack or anything like that. It's simply a part of the device. Another thing you can do is turn on power saving mode. And some people kind of frown at power saving mode for some reason. I don't know why people frown at this when this is a part of having this phone. If you're on in a place where you're just going to, you just need, you need battery and you just forgot your charger. This is your savior. This is a huge plus. Most phones don't have this power saving option to where it's deep dives like it deep dives like this and turns a lot of stuff off. Now, if you think that you only have access to these apps, you don't, you have access to all of your apps. You just have to get them from the taskbar. You have to get them from in here. So I can I can search. Um, well, here's Twitter. Now Twitter 
will be a part of a, an app that I can access. Right there. Yeah. So you can access all of your apps. Now, that is a simple trick for you to do. If you're a person who, who thinks this battery life is so poor, charge it to 100%, turn on ultra power saving mode, put whatever apps you want down here that you want quick access to, and then when you want to access some of your other apps, go into the task manager. That's it. I, I do it all the time when, I, when I've used this. I actually did a battery test with this, uh, and um, I was able to go almost five days, uh, and that is just fantastic. And I continue to use the device as though it was just me using it. I open it up. I would, you know, just get on phone calls, use YouTube, do whatever. It just, I limited myself to these apps full time. Now you can change these bottom four, but you cannot change the top four. And that's something that you should consider for those that just frequently feel like the phone has poor battery life. Folks, that is not a hack. That's not cheating as some people in the tech community say that is just a part of the device and honestly i think you're a fool if you don't take advantage of it some people don't want the improvements that they say they want now yes i'm not disagreeing with you when i tell you this battery okay so you said the battery life you whoever you may be my battery life is horrible okay i've given you a tip on it there's plenty of tips and tricks videos out there on it uh to where my tip is a simple tip just go into your google services and turn off some things syncing that's it the battery life is 3300 though, and it's not the biggest battery. So aside from the cover display, Samsung needs to put a bigger battery in here. But will that solve your battery woes? That doesn't mean that it's going to solve your battery woes. Not at all. It just means that they have a bigger battery. Again, I've said it a million times, battery life is gonna depend on you, the user. That is what you need to remember. It's just that simple. So while this device has a small battery, Samsung gives you an option to try to help rectify that with some type of power saving mode. It's there for you. That's all I can give you. So three weeks of owning this device, the cover display after owning the Motorola Razr should be bigger. The battery could be bigger, but I genuinely don't have any severe complaints about this. The hardware is beautiful. It's a great design. It's just an all around great looking phone and it's very functional. You get uh, fantastic cameras, man. And you get the side display here where you can edit and put any app that's on the device, you can put it on here. A lot of phones can't do that. So bear this in mind. Again, if you're a person who is on the fence and you're, you have a traditional style Android device and you want to convert, this is your conversion. This, this is your conversion. That is what I say to you. This is your transition device. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, man, I, I am enjoying this device to the fullest. And then you couple that with some other accessories from Samsung. And you know, what do you get? You get just like, an, some people have the watch. I don't prefer the watch. I just like the buds in this. And then, you know, I've got some accessories. I purchased a lot of the, the Samsung accessories. Um, you know, I don't know. I just feel like this is kind of like the ultimate transition device for people who want to leave the standards of the tech community, the bottom line standards. So it's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. And yes, I will see you in the next video. Take care.